All right, guys, I made it in about <laughs> 1.8 miles to get to the uh, breakfast lunch spot that I always kayak to normally on this river. And uh, you can tell no, one, no one's been here for quite some time. There's no foot depressions, there's no debris moved. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I got out here early this morning. Well, as early as I could after I dropped the kids off. And uh, so now I'm going to uh, set up camp here for, you know, breakfast and, and coffee in the woods. I have a pipe and uh, just enjoy the sunshine. And then I got to, of course, unfortunately, as always, <laughs> head on out back to the real world and go to work this afternoon. So, uh, yeah, depending on what, how, how relaxed I feel here and everything else I might I might just you know hey drop the boat off at, <laughs> at home and just go to work in these clothes I don't know <laughs> crazy but that's the way I feel sometimes you know not enough hours in the day Nothing. <laughs> Nothing but the thoughts in my head. Oh yeah, I love this spot. It's real nice. Just waiting for the uh, coffee to uh, cool off. Canteen cups are way too hot. So, um, I'm gonna shoot some footage, I guess, on the way back. It's very hard to shoot, you know, unless you got a GoPro rowing up river you know it's easier a little bit easier to navigate going you know with the flow of the water so we're trying to shoot some stuff on the way back It's just so hard to uh, <laughs> record anything, but I, I gotta invest in like another camera, like a GoPro, so I can hooked up my head. It's very hard to uh, navigate recording with a cell phone because you know you can see the boat wants to keep kind of spinning a little bit. And I have all this deadfall that you have to keep bobbing and weaving around. But as you can see, it's so peaceful. You don't hear anything. Some low water here. See, I always when I come in, I came on the in on the right side of the island, and you can't in the summertime. You get stuck on the uh, lily pads when they grow in, and this is all low on that side. And then you have to somehow walk your kayak over onto this side, where the deep water's at, and go back that way when you're coming up. Same thing on the way back. You got to stay on the left. So on the way back, it's left 
right, left, right. <laughs> and the other way, it's right, left, you know, opposite. It's ridiculous. And every, you know, and every time you come out here, the terrain has always changed. Like right now, it's not summertime, it's spring. Or almost spring, so there's no lily pads. And you can see all open water. But you can't fucking, uh, you think you're gonna, it's all deep water, and it's not. And then you wind up getting stuck. You can see the lily pads is growing up underneath, where it's like an inch of water, and then the kayaks still get stuck. And if you had two people in here, forget it. You'd be getting out to walk it, because it'd be too much weight. Luckily me, it's just me. I just use the oar and push my way out. But then you can see I'm moving. There's a truck over there driving up the road. Looks like he's gonna drop, maybe go kayaking or just walk the dog or something. Yep, so I'm just cruising on back. Oh yeah, smooth sound, it's like glass. So now we're in the open water. There's a hiker there across the way. I don't know if you can see him. So there's the truck, there's the hiker. Oh yeah, but when I came out here, there was not one vehicle when I launched. So I had to pretty much the lake to myself. Even if I wanted to hike, I had the hiking trails of myself because there's not one other car here. And back over there is the Batstow Trail that I, you, you've seen me do several times. And it, that's that four mile loop that I do. All right, back to Rowan. Big Mama Jama Turtle. Yeah, he's a big boy. Whew. All right, so the glass. Whew. I'm just getting my bearings. This is my first time doing this in a while, so a little winded and just trying to get my bearings straight. And as you can see, it looks to me, we're navigating on this lake, the ripple is where all the seagrass and lily pads are going to be coming in, and that's where I'm getting stuck. And the glass is where it's the deep water. So it's kind of hard because I'll start seeing glass and then ripple and then it starts getting low like really quick and then I gotta either back up and find another spot. The buoy's that way so I gotta come around. Looks like this way where's the deep water and then looks like zigzag around as you can see. Even though where those stumps are up ahead it looks like that's not ripple, but because those stumps are there, there's a lot, of, it's low. I don't know if I'm zooming in right. It's hard to see with the glare from the sun. Whew. But there must be some other turtles working because I'm hearing a lot of plooping, plooping. All right. Boom. Whew. There's the truck. Uh yeah, we made it. <laughs> we have docked. First kayak trip of the year. Won't be the last. Ha ha! First day kayaking. Woo! Now we on the ride home. There's nowhere for me to put the damn phone, so this is the best you're gonna get in between the steering wheel and the, sta <laughs> the dashboard here. Uh, yeah, man. We got 71 degrees in the sunshine on my thermostat on the truck. Oh yeah, we did it. We did it. We got it in. The captain has set sail once again. Smooth sailing. I feel good. You know, it's always an exercise when you got to row that boat. So, and I'll probably feel it tomorrow. But hey, got to get it done. Get it in, man. Got to get it in when I can. Weekends are shot, you know, so... Gotta do it when I'm free, so. We got a nice breakfast in, well, brunch. We had a chili mac. And coffee. Enjoyed the views. So now we're leaving the pines now. Heading back to the home stretch. So, hope you enjoyed what footage that I could get. You know, I, I gotta, you know, maybe one day get a GoPro. But, you know. Hopefully one day, and then 
when I do do like these kayak trips and stuff like that, you know, I could do the whole thing where it's all in your head and you can see what I see, that type of thing. It would be a, definitely a better video than me just putting piecing together here and there what I can. But it is what it is. So thanks for coming along with the captain today. Until we do it again, my friends, remember, hey, let's set sail.